Princeton Junction, speaking with Tony's uh, Aunt Viola, Viola Santafuaso Aversano, and she's going to reminisce with us about her memories of South Brunswick. Cool. Who was, who was reminiscing? With you, Your mother, Tony and I. His, his mother. We're going to talk about South Brunswick when you were a little girl. You're going to tell us about it. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake. Growing up in South <clears throat> Brunswick. When I was a little girl. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't even remember. I, I wasn't, I wasn't small very long. Mm -hmm. I, I graduated when I was 12 years old. And out of public school out there. <clears throat> I took seventh and eighth grade together. Mm -hmm. And uh, so. Do you remember any of your teachers? Well, it was Mrs. Weaver. She was the principal. And uh, you caught me off guard, <laughs> you know. It's okay, just take your time. Do you remember any of your classmates? Oh, uh, Bill Van Dyke and Al, Al Van Dyne, and uh, they they were in my class. And uh, <coughs> and you know I still keep in touch with Marion. Marion. Marion Van Dyne. Well, it's, I haven't it's since I can't write anymore. I've lost track. But every Christmas, she used to live next door here to me too. Mm -hmm. And Al, we went to high school together, you know, and Bill Van Dyke, and Mrs. Van Dyke used to help us. Well, she was a teacher too, and Mrs. Van Dyke. See, it's, it's coming back. Her, hus her husband was a butcher. Mm -hmm. Bill Van Dyke's dad was a butcher. Yeah. Right. He used to come around with the, the wagon and he'd they'd give us uh, bones for the dog, you know. But he'd throw the bones to the dog. And uh, <clears throat> and Mrs. Van Dyke, she used to help us with our classes, too. They lived up on the corner house up there. And uh, and it, it's funny because Bill went into the Bell, Bell Telephone, uh, too, in the wire department, you know. Mm -hmm. And I went in as an operator. Well, I was an operator of, uh, what's her name? It's Stewart's. Stewart's, the, Mr. Stewart. He worked for the telephone company. That was the farmers and traders at that time. There was no bell telephone with farmers and traders. Where was the office? Upstairs. In a home in Mama's Junction? Uh, right across from Nick and Rose. By the old school? Yeah. Mm -hmm. the upstairs. Mm -hmm. And uh, I used to work from 11 at night to 7 in the morning. And I was only 12 years old. Oh, my goodness. But oh, I would have been 13. I graduated in June. Then I would have been 13 September the 10th. So uh, and Mrs. Stewart and Dave, their son, and they had a daughter, too. I don't remember her name. Did they live in Dean's? I don't know if they ever lived in Dean's, but mm -hmm. I only knew them from when they came to Mama Junction mm -hmm. because I was working in the house, you know. Oh, and the <coughs> what's her name? Her husband used to work at the the um, oh uh, she worked at the Bell Telephone too. And Sophie Moore worked there. Uh, uh, Mrs. Griggs, Miss uh, Alice Griggs. Huh? Did you work with Alice Griggs? Al can you tell her? Maybe she. Jack Lackey's wife. No. No. Well, she worked there later. But I wasn't there then. Oh. She was a good friend of your sister. Had, uh, oh, Catherine, Catherine Jack Lackey's wife. They were very good friends, and uh, but uh, I can't think of her the name offhand. Her husband used to be the uh, he worked from three to eleven up at the 
Oh, for the train, switching the train, mm -hmm. you know. The Mr. block Fitch. operators. Yeah. Mr. Fitch? Hmm? Mr. Fitch? Mr. Fitch? Mr. Carlisle? Oh, it was Mr. What's was Fitch? Yeah, that's who it was. Uh-huh. I knew he, was, he worked at the tower. Yeah, and his wife, mm -hmm. she worked at the office, too. And uh, Sophie Moore, and um, she worked 3 to 11, Mrs. Fish. And then uh, I, I'm trying to think who worked from 11 to 7 in the morning. But I was a relief operator. I used to relieve them, you know. Mm -hmm. I worked about, well, uh, Friday. I worked about 14, 15 days in the week, in, in a month. Mm -hmm. I used to get a 20 cents an hour. Dollar mm. <laughs> 20 a night. Mm -hmm. So I used to give mom a check for 14 or 15 dollars. You know, I felt so good mm -hmm. at bringing home, you know, that money. Because mm -hmm. we used to build p pick potatoes. <laughs> oh, God. Which farm? Hmm? Which farm did you pick potatoes? Oh, they, uh, they, we used to pick for dyes. They were the, or not dyes. Wait a minute. Marcy? Marcy? Yeah. Marcy? Must have been. On the corner there on the other yeah, side of the track. Yeah, because tracks. Jimmy died. Right, right. That was yeah. the Marcy farm. Yeah, right. we used to pick potatoes. And then up the field, um, the milkman. Anderson? Anderson's. Mm -hmm. We used to pick over there, too. And, uh, oh gosh. <laughs> That's so far. I haven't thought of that. What did you I do for s uh, in 60 years? I'm 88 years old. God so. bless you. <laughs> what did you do for fun? For fun? Well, we we just the family. We made our own fun. Mm -hmm. And the, the brothers and the the sisters and we had um, we admit I must I'm trying to think now. They played baseball. Mm -hmm. We always went to the baseball mm -hmm. games. And Pop, Pop used to go up there, and we had the parrot, remember? Yes, no right. one's mentioned the parrot. Hmm. I remember the parrot when I used to go in the store. Yeah, and the, the parrot, oh, he, Pop could do anything with him. He'd go up on Pop, uh, up on his shoulder, and, and he would peck at his ear, you know, and <laughs> Pop would say, stop that, and he'd go, ha, 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 you know. <laughs> Oh, he was—he was a riot, and he used to go up the field because we, well, they played the, well, they had a diamond up there. Yeah, if you turn, you know, oh, after you make that, I'm trying to think who lived in that house there, on the corner where you made the turn. Doss. Doss. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, the and back at the barber shop. Charlie, the barber's barber shop, they used to play ball too. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, so we used to go up there and watch the ball games right. every right. night when they played ball. And you, Nick, you know too. Mm -hmm. Nick used to play with Sears and Roebuck in in Philadelphia. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh yeah, he was on their team in Philadelphia. He was a good player, and. Uh, well, they all played ball, every mm -hmm. one of them. I can remember Art playing ball, Do but play? I don't remember uh, Butch's dad, but I remember Art. Yeah, well, Arthur played, and and uh, Tony. Tony used to play out in the field, I think. I don't know, but somebody said third base and, you know, different places, I guess. Maybe he played all around. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it seemed to me that... I remember Tony out in the field, and uh, if I, you know, if I knew this, you were. Uh, I, well, I would it's, have it's just whatever about. you remember. Whatever but you this, mean. This here, you know, is all catching me right off. Mm. You know. Just whatever you remember. That's all. Just stuff that you want to preserve in memory. That's all. 
so that know this and that the town has it as a record too so that they just put it in the archives that's what we're doing this for so anything you can remember things that were fun things that you know you remember uh, where you went to school what schools you went to your friends your I, teachers I remember the uh, I took the seventh and eighth grade and then we had a state uh, competition you know and a spelling bee and I won I won five dollars I think a five dollar gold piece in the state of Jer Jersey and uh, for spelling you thought you were rich oh boy <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and, and the funny part of it is they all admired my handwriting mm-hmm yeah I was just telling her the other day what a beautiful handwriting she had yep and when I when the doctor Etchickson he when, when I worked at the Bell Telephone uh, and uh, I've, I've always been uh, had trouble with my lungs. Well, we didn't know. It didn't bother me till I was, what, 40, around 40, in my 40s, I think. Or, no, when I, met, when I got married, I started having trouble with my lungs. And that was in, uh, we were married in 1938. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, so, did you go to high school? Only one year, and uh, then his father got sick. Tony was very sick, and so mom used to go to. He was in St. Peter's at a hospital, and mom had to go to St. Peter's to see him every day. Mm -hmm. But she'd go with the, the Rocky Hill. Remember mm -hmm. the train we used to call Rocky Hill, mm -hmm. one o'clock. So mom would go on that train to see him, and she said, well, I, I went to, to high school at New Brunswick High, uh, but the, the junior high, mm -hmm. and uh, for the ninth grade, and uh, then uh, I graduated from there, and I was going into 10th grade. I had to go to the senior high school, and I just started the senior high when Tony got so sick. So mom said, look, and then Jack, he was going to high school. And then mom said, you, you'll you have to stay home and take care of the, the house while I go to the hospital because she said, you're a woman, you don't have to worry about mm -hmm. an education. Mm -hmm. But Jack, she said, he has to make a living so it's very important that he get his education. I said, Mom, whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. I'll stay home. So I stood home and I took care of the store because we had a grocery store at that time. So I took care of the grocery store while Mom went to New Brunswick and she came home on that 3 3.30 train after she seen Tony, you know. And Tony was there for one month mm -hmm. in the hospital, and then they they were giving him these injections. He said they put these these needles. He said in hoses like that up his rectum and all the poor kid. I'm telling you, mm -hmm. I cried and what I can see myself crying yet, and on the steps when he was so sick and the priest was there and praying and praying and praying. I prayed all my life, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I said, dear God, don't be with him. Help him, help him, because they said, take him home to die. They couldn't do any more for him after one month. It said, take him home to die. And he was in bed one year. And I don't know how many times we had the priest there. And, and all I kept doing was praying and praying. Well, your prayers were answered. Yep. Huh? Your prayers were answered. Oh, and how they were answered. He the wouldn't dear, be here, yeah, right? I wouldn't be here, right? <laughs> the dear Lord has been so good mm -hmm. to us. Right. When they said he wouldn't live the year out. Mm -hmm. And he was only about 12 years old. And when I think of that, when you say you, you helped at the store, uh, was Grand, Grandpa was still alive then, right? 
he he was living, and uh, well, and then I had to get to supper, you know. I had to start supper, and I used to cook. I when I got married, I I did all the cooking. I mean, how about the parties I had here? Oh yeah, we used to have great parties here. Yeah. Charlie's friends. He had 36 fellas here one night. Mm -hmm. His Ken Club. There's mm -hmm. his his honors all on the wall back and there. And I have some downstairs too. Mm -hmm. And they gave me a candlesticks. I cooked for one week for 36 men, and we had it out here in the yard. And and at four o'clock in the afternoon, it started to rain. The weather was changing. And he had a bocce court out mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. He had the, built the well. He had the watermelons down in the well. Mm -hmm. And and he had a clam bar over here. Oh, mm -hmm. and I cooked 75 pounds of chicken. <laughs> and I made 10 pounds of potato salad. I remember it like it was yesterday. So Charlie took you out of South Brunswick, right? When did you get well, married, Viola? Well, his people were very annoyed when we got married and we came here. Mm -hmm. Because, see, at that time then, I'm jumping around. Mm -hmm. That's okay. <clears throat> at that time, well, uh, I was 14 and uh, I was still working at the telephone company. And Mom said, uh, after uh, a year, it was Bill Van Dyke and, and Al and all the, you know, the ones I went to school with. Oh, and I think there were just those two left that I was, you know, in my class. And uh, Mom said, do you want to go back to school? I said, no. I said that my friends are ahead of me and I'll feel like a dope, I said. And Mom said, well, then how about if you go to Riders and take a course? I said, no, Mom. I said, I want to go to work. And uh, so they were putting in, ad and they were advertising. At that time, Bell Telephone had taken over where I was, you know. And I said, the mom, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to transfer. I'm going to tell them I want to go to Princeton. So I went to Princeton, and, and Jenny was working for a uh, company in, in uh, New Brunswick, making jar rings or something. And Jenny said, oh, I don't like what I'm doing. I'm going to come with you. Mm -hmm. So Jenny came with me, and we put in applications in Princeton. Well, at that time, I, it was June the 2nd, I remember so vividly, and uh, June the 2nd, and I would be 15 in September, and uh, was it 15 or 16, 13, 14, yeah, 15, I'd have been 15 years old, so in Princeton, and in those days, you know, you didn't have to put applications in, or you didn't have to have birth certificates or anything. Mm -hmm. So I, I put my age down to 17. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had, I had my dresser down to here. <laughs> oh, oh boy. And I'm and, sure it was a pretty one. And I had a cordine pleated skirt mm -hmm. and a beige blouse with a, a little jacket, you know, a vest, like, mm -hmm. like a velvet vest. I had rats in my hair. I had my hair comb, you know. I had to make myself look, you know, old, mm -hmm. uh, four, 15 years old. I had some pictures around here, I think, mm -hmm. of me dressed <laughs> in uh, that outfit. And uh, so I got the job. And Jenny got the job too. And we were in Princeton 20 years. And I had a five year perfect attendance record. Nobody in the state had five years, never late, never nothing. Mm -hmm. Every day I worked. So 
And then for three years I had to be, a, I was evening chief, an all-night chief operator. And, uh, and then, uh, well, uh, oh, I had so many. They made me an instructress, and I was an employee representative. You know, they didn't have unions in those days. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, I have a time my teeth keep falling. <laughs> You're doing very yeah, you're well. You're doing very well. You're doing very well. And I have to talk and hold my teeth, and I have mouth at the same time. Mm. Oh, God. That drives me crazy. How many brothers and sisters? Huh? How many brothers and sisters in the family? My brothers and, th and three, Maggie, Jenny, and I. Mm -hmm. And uh, so there was uh, Nick, Leo, Jack, Tony, and Arthur.